right guys welcome back to risen sun adventures it has been a while uh, i've been battling covid 19. i mean it has been a, a tough battle for the last two or three weeks for me um, i work in a correctional facility where i'm pretty much over the covid unit um, I, most of the individuals that come down to the place that I work and the employees that I work with, we all are in constant contact with individuals that showing some types of symptoms, COVID-19. So we're constantly in contact with those individuals. And it finally, um, after two years of kind of stretching through and, and pushing forward, it finally caught up with me and I uh, contracted the the lovely disease, the most deadliest disease in the world, guys, and I survived. So welcome back to Risen Sun Adventures and thank the Lord for the safety that he provided me as I was dealing with the sickness. But once again, glad to be back. Guys, with Risen Sun Adventures starting uh, the new 2022 season of tournament fishing, I get asked a lot of, about how we record on our kayak, and we all do. We use we use the, the GoPros. Uh, I love the GoPro series, the Black, the 7. Um, I have uh, two of these that I'm running, and this year I'm actually going to add another so I'm going to have um, a different angle. So I'm going to be working on multiple angles this year on my kayak as I'm out fishing. Uh, I do have my original Hero, the first one that I ever had, and I use it for quick shots to do your intros and stuff like that. Uh, this one right here has an internal battery. Uh, it does not have external batteries, so you pretty much have to charge this one up, and then once it's dead, you're done with it. Um, so it's pretty much useless. But, you know, we've come a long way in the way that we think and the way that we handle how we power our cameras out there on the water. Uh, GoPro batteries are very small. Uh, these batteries here, they are about 1,220 amp hours, and that's uh, 4.7 watts and um, 3.85 volts so it's really not a, a very large battery and these gopros they do take a lot of battery uh, in order to uh, record for long periods of time so this battery this small battery will probably get you about 40 minutes of constant video time and, and that's not a lot when you're out there on the water and you're doing a tournament video which you're out there for eight hours or you're doing practice videos or you're out there for 12 hours and you're just shooting content and you're trying to make these videos just more presentable for you as the audience. So how do you combat that? What do you do? Um, the way that I set mine up is I made a, a camera pole. Uh, this right here actually fits on a Scotty mount in the back of my kayak, on my kayak crate. And it sits up in the air just like this. And it stretches forward, stretches tall. And then as you can see here, I have a cable that runs out of the, the GoPro and comes down to a USB port or USB connector. So a lot of people, they will take their batteries that they run their electronics off of on their kayaks and they have battery boxes that are made. There's tons of companies out there that make battery boxes with USB ports and just all types of things that you can put in your kayak. Sometimes that, that does come with a little bit a, of a weight. And um, we all know that when you're out there on a kayak, we try to limit the weight that we um, have in order to, one, so we can move a little bit faster. One, we can limit um, the amount of gear that we take. Uh, we're always looking at ways of making things more compact, more organized on our kayaks. So um, the best thing to do is if you can go out and, and you start looking at Walmart. Walmart is a great place to buy batteries. Uh, these right here, um, I have several of these. And when I do find them uh, cheap, I buy a bunch. Uh, these right here are the own brand which is a product of walmart it actually comes with a cord in the back so you have a short cord that you can put inside of it and we do use these cords uh, it comes with a usb port right here at the top and these last me i can power my entire my entire day with just one of these and these are only 67 amp hours 6700 amp hours so that's that's a lot of battery uh, it actually, it's like six or seven of the GoPro batteries, but like I said, they, they don't take a lot, but they run absolutely fabulous. Um, the GoPros run constantly on my kayak. These batteries here work absolutely wonderful. So if you're out at Walmart, guys, pick these up. Like I said, great batteries, small, compact, slide them on. Um, you can put some Velcro on the back of them, attach them to your uh, milk crate or your uh, backpack or whatever you have in the back of your kayak. Um, like I said, when I'm out at Walmart and I'm looking for these things, if I find them on sale, I pick them up. The ones that you just saw, the own, I think I got those for $5 a piece. And then guys, I, I 
right before Christmas as I was out shopping I was able to find these these were portable battery packs these are four times more charge these are 10,000 amp hours so I mean these these things right here this will last me for a while and, and not only are they good for powering your your GoPros and, and making sure those things work but guys when you're out there on that water and you're fishing and, and things are getting tough and you look down at your phone and your phone has started for some reason either because your location's on everything's got to be on because we're working with Tourney X your battery starts to die and you're going to lose power you can take that uh, cord plug it into your phone boom you got you a quick charge so not only are these things great for your uh, continuous filming they're also good to save you for your battery um, if you need a good quick charge on your telephone. So guys, make sure you go out, pick you some up, and I hope this here helps you out and to realize what we do when we're out there on the water in order to keep our GoPros going uh, for an entire filming session so we're able to put the content out there for you. Guys, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure that you hit the notification bell to be notified when new material is coming. And also guys, be on the lookout for the next videos that are coming up with the truck. I will be getting the war wagon back possibly today. Um, they've been sending me videos um, as the time has been progressing, as things have been worked on and, and showing me the progress. And guys, it was really absolutely fabulous. So like I said before, if you're in the area, in this area, uh, make sure you check out those guys at Den Ambulance because they've really fixed my truck up and it's going to really look good. I can't wait to, to show you the outcome and continue on with the mods to come. Guys, peace out, be good, and remember, the sun is always shining even in the rain.